Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Helen and this is the Shrimpy McGee channel. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos so I know that you want more of them. All right, minoxidil, AKA Rogaine, AKA Regain. What's it all about? Is it good? How do you put it on? Why did I start to use it? I'm gonna answer some of those questions for you today. But for those of you just wanting to see how, it's how I put it on, which is a little bit different than how the direction suggests to do it, I'm just gonna do that right now. And then if you want, you can stick around and hear me talk about sort of why I started using it. And if you wanna look at some before shots with me, I'm gonna put some of those up too, but let's get right into it, putting it on. Now the directions say to put it on a plate and uh, just dab it into your hairline. I don't do it that way because I just find that that's messy and then I have to clean up the plate and all that stuff. What I do is I just turn this over and I just straight up put it right into where I think I need it. You know, they say part your hair the way you like it. And to do it that way, I haven't been using, and, and I don't because I kind of have a loose part, but I kind of have an idea of where I like to put it in. I don't wear a very, very fixed part because I find that that just enhances the look of, um, thinning hair. So anyhow, I just put it in as you saw, and then I just use my fingers to really rub it in. My actual worst spot is like right here in this bald spot. So I just rub it in and I just massage and I massage and I make sure that it gets in there really good. Another little hack that I like to use is I just let it melt a tiny bit. I mean, I didn't today for the sake of expediency, but I just let it melt into the hair a tiny bit because if you put quite a bit of foam, it'll be like this egg of foam, but if you just let it melt, it'll actually do some of the work for you, melt it into your hair. You don't want it to melt too much though because it will start to drip and you don't want it to drip. That's actually the reason that you created a foam. So that's sort of how I put it in and that's, that's, that's the work that I do. Like I'm actually rubbing it more than I normally would. I would just put it in and I gotta say, I've been really liking the results. Um, I'm gonna just comb my hair a little bit and then I'm gonna see if I can turn this way. I have no idea if that's catching the actual bald spot that I'm trying to hide, which is here. If I find that that's not adequate, I will take a shot for you guys and I'll insert it so you can see what my bald spot looks like now. But I'll also just put in some pictures of what my hair used to look like. I noticed that it started falling out almost in handfuls, which was really, really freaking me out. It started falling out in like legit handfuls in about, September, October of this year. So I'll put in a picture of what my hair looked like in October. And so I was like, oh my God, this is insane. I'm gonna be completely bald at this rate, no way. So I've started to use Rogaine. I use the Rogaine men's foam instead of the woman's foam. And so I've talked about that a little bit in previous videos. Uh, or a previous video, which I will link to. And this stuff has been working really well. What it says here is to use it two times a day, but uh, for women, you can use it one time a day. I've been cleared to use it in this way. This is totally not sponsored by Rogaine or any minoxidil product. And I noticed that on YouTube, some of the top results, if you look for women's Rogaine are sponsored content. And I don't know how I feel about that. I kinda, anyhow, this is not sponsored. I totally bought this. This stuff's expensive. I bought it out of my own pocket. Works amazing though. Let me tell you, I have such had such a difference and I'm really not trying to shill this. I understand that people are really hesitant to use it, but oh my God, has it ever made a huge amount of difference? I mean, if you just look, I'll put in, like I said, the shot, but I'll put in some more. Um, I think I took another shot of my sort of bald spot in. December and I think I also took one in January and I have them in my camera So I will insert those for you guys to look at what a difference I even went to my hairdresser and she's like, oh wow, you have so much like your hair texture You have two textures you have one texture here and Then you have this sort of all these soft fluffy baby hairs that are shorter up in here And so yeah, it's given me so much fullness. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it I really kind of concentrate in here because this is where I like to part my hair and as much as I try on this side I just don't like the way it looks as much so when I do put in the rogue and I tend to concentrate it on this part and it's given me so many, so many little baby hairs that have actually given me quite a bit of volume, which is nice. So I've got all this volume now, uh, which I didn't have before. So a word about buying Rogaine. It's also called Regain, I believe in the UK. It's called Rogaine here in Canada and the United States. It's also known as Minoxidil, which is the actual drug name and um, what I was gonna say is that you can buy it at Costco. If you're in the United States and you're watching this, you can get it at Costco. You can get the Kirkland brand, it's foam as well. And it is far less expensive than the actual brand name Rogaine. I cannot buy 
Kirkland, um, I guess, what's the, the generic made by Kirkland? I'm not, that's not available here in Canada. So I am on the hook to pay for the thing at full price. I am not embarrassed to admit that I get it from Walmart because it is less expensive there. I could get it from Costco. They have probably a comparable price, but there's just so much. It's like a year supply if I buy it from Costco and I don't necessarily wanna have those cans hanging out for a whole year. Three cans, which is what the pack comes in, and it's over a hundred bucks. I can't remember exactly how much it is. Sorry, let me just take a pause. Something's poking me in my eye. Okay, I'm back. So I'm the hook, on the hook to buy it from Walmart at over a hundred bucks. I, I don't remember the exact price. It might even be more like 150. It's expensive, okay, but is it though? If you get your hair back, I would pay probably almost any price to have my hair back. I've really struggled over the last couple of years, which is well documented here on my channel, in my hair playlist. You know, this is just something that is just, it's a, just a really long journey struggle. I'd do almost anything to have my hair back. So when I found the minoxidil, I thought it could be a solution. I started using it and thank goodness it is working like a charm. It works so well. So much of my hair is filled in. I don't really have to use too much topic, which are these like dark fibers that you can use to sort of fill it in. I don't use too, too much spray either. That was another little trick I was using to cover up all my bald spots, you know, even flipping it to the other side, but it was kind of thin there or rather not only was it thin there, my hair would naturally just go back anyway, revealing this, because I guess that's where my crown is, right? So almost no matter where I would part it, unless I sprayed the heck out of my hair, my um, bald spot would start to reveal again throughout the day. So I just, I could not win. But now I just think it looks so much better. I'm just so, so happy with the way the Rogaine has been working for me. Like I said before, this is not an ad. Um, it works great, it's pretty easy to apply. I've only ever used the foam, I've never used the liquid. The liquid is more affordable. I just haven't used it. I've always used the men's. The men's is less expensive than the women's. They say, if you look at the women's, or if you look at the men's packaging, there are very big warnings there that say not to use it on women. I don't know why. Like I said, I've been cleared to use the men's, so I'm just gonna continue using the men's. I don't wanna get sued by Rogaine or anything like that. I don't know what the difference is. I just know that I'm okay to use the men's and it's less expensive, so I'm just sticking with that. The directions are a bit different though. For men, they say to use it two times a day, and I think for women, it's only one time a day. Some people have reported issues with growing extra hair on their face and stuff like that, and I have not had that problem, thank goodness, probably because I'm not using it very much. This part of my hair, I'm sort of using it more back here. I don't know if that makes any difference. Uh, some people have reported that. I actually have bangs. Sorry to take you on a tangent. I actually have bangs, which I kind of have been pushing back because I've kind of been playing with having them and not having them. But I thought for this video, just sort of show you without the bangs so that they were not a distraction. But even when I do have them, I've been pretty happy with my hairline. It's pretty thick in there. And overall, I just give this product really a thumbs up. You know, if you have any safety concerns, by all means, definitely discuss with your doctor. You know, there are actual physicians who discuss it on YouTube as well, so you're welcome to look there. Not that that takes the place of an actual consultation, but if you wanna feel a bit better about what it is or you're skeptical, feel free and do that. I decided that for me, um, any possible side effects were worth it to have my hair back because for me, that was a very gutting and devastating experience. Losing my hair not only once, but a second time watching tons and tons of it go down the drain was not fun. But the minoxidil so far has been taking care of that. I am down to using quite a small amount and so that seems to be working well for me. Uh, and I just really like it. I recommend this product. If you have any questions, I'm so more than happy to answer them. I've actually had, I've talked about minoxidil and Rogaine pretty openly before and yeah, I get some like sneaky DMs from people and stuff like that. <laughs> so you're welcome to do that too. You can find me on Instagram at Shrimpy Miggy, same as the name of this channel. So you can slip me some DMs there too if you don't wanna talk about it openly or you know, feel free to just drop me a note here on this channel. I will answer anything. I, I promise I will answer any question you have to the best of my ability or I'll try and help you find a good answer about this stuff. I've really been liking it. I think that, you know, judging by the before shots that I, the before pictures that I've shown you, it's done such a great job. I'm just so, so happy. I hope that it continues to stay. I've been avoiding those YouTube videos where they say like, I've stopped using Rogaine because, and then they don't tell you why. I haven't been clicking on those because I don't want to hear any bad news. I'm just like, la, 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 right now. I don't want to hear it. Hopefully it continues to keep working for me. But right now I just am so pleased with my hair growth. Just in time for the summer, where I can't even, you know, I can't cover my hair right now with a cap. So perfect timing, you know, it was October when I started using it. Now it is mid June and I can go outside and have a lot of confidence. When I had that terrible bald spot, I could feel the cold air of the winter on the back of my head, which was a new experience for me. 
before that had been covered with, you know, a pixie cut that gave me pretty good coverage till it all bloody well fell out. And before that, toques and wigs and stuff. I had never felt the sensation really of cold air on the back of my head. Hey, you know, that sucked. <laughs> this product is good. It's really been working for me. So if this has been helpful, please give me a like and uh, consider subscribing if you like. Of course, you don't have to, but if you do that, lets me know that you like this content and I will make more of it. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me here. And I hope that you'll stick around for my next video coming up soon. Bye.